Welcome back everyone. It is now August 10th of 2023 and given that there's a lot of things happening simultaneously between Bob Iger, the Disney board, and the constant shakeup that is happening between themselves every single day in and day out going on with the up and coming movies, the TV shows for Disney Plus, and let's not forget about their Disney parks, the merchandise, etc, etc. Now, speaking about Snow White and the planned and mapped out cinematic universe that they are desperately trying to keep on track, there's been a lot of problems happening along the way, and we got quite a number of things to discuss today, so let's jump right into it. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And, well, let's get right into exactly what's going on with a specific Snow White project. Now, we know that Disney has really been up in the air lately, everything ranging from Elemental to The Little Mermaid ranging all the way over to the Haunted Mansion as well, is another prime example there. And we have upcoming projects like the Marvels, which is a guaranteed box office failure, we all know that. Indy 5 was a great example of how not to run a business, specifically Kathleen Kennedy running Lucasfilm, of course. But that brings us to what Disney recently cancelled and how it revolves around the Snow White cinematic universe that Bob Iger and the board have been trying to put together that has been slowly but surely dying away and pretty much falling apart. Because, let's face it, Disney does not know how to do their job. They don't know how to do things properly. They really get ahead of themselves too fast with these projects and so on and so forth. However... Alright, given that the Snow White backlash keeps getting worse but for Bob Iger and the board, one major development has much to do with a Snow White project for the planned Snow White Cinematic Universe. One crucial update surrounding this has to do with Bob Iger and the Disney board and how they cancelled an entire Snow White project that was going to focus on the Seven Dwarfs, now known as the Magical Creatures. As it turns out, the project that they had cancelled was going to be a complete spin-off prequel film of the Seven Dwarfs as they appeared in the live-action photographs, of course, that were leaked by design, and was also going to go over Snow White and her father's backstory where Rachel Zegler was planned to return for the prequel. The biggest plan of all for this was to bring back Gal Gadot as the evil queen and to also create a backstory for her, as well as her evil brother called Lord Malice. This cancelled project was also going to focus on the seven dwarfs' cousins called the Dwarfellas. Their names were going to be Muddy, Sunburn, Moonbeam, Critterina, Thunderella, Marina, and Blossom, modeling the names after the Happily Ever After 1989 movie. Though the Seven Dwarf Fellows are planned to appear in a Snow White sequel to this day, they were set to make a big appearance in the cancelled spin-off prequel film, featuring all of these characters to explore backstories. The entire film was cancelled just recently after one of Disney's emergency meetings for the Snow White universe as two whole movies that were axed in order to spend less at the company and also in response to the backlash from the upcoming 24 film revolving around the Seven Dwarfs, which is still being discussed for cancellation, by the way. Now, let me just stop here quick for one second. Now, we've talked about this lightly before, and now the whole situation just got worse for Bob Iger, and let's not forget about the Disney board here. They were trying to desperately creating a Snow White cinematic universe I don't know why they were trying to do this. It just sounds ridiculous. I think that we have enough universes as it is. You have everything ranging from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you have Star Wars, you have a lot of other things out there where all the movies are connected. I don't think that we need it with Disney live action movies, especially by Disney or at least the way that Disney runs things today. Maybe if they were better organized and didn't use all the DEI nonsense, it may very well have worked, but not in this current state of Disney, so I'm very glad that they cancelled out this project in specific, of course, and how that actually created a bigger problem for the board, really trying to craft a cinematic universe out of Snow White. And mind you, they are trying to do the same exact thing with The Lion King. Uh, we talked about this, we got Mufasa, 
uh, coming out next year. It's going to be a prequel to the 2019 Lion King movie. And aside from that, they're also planning out a Scar prequel movie to focus on his backstory. They also want to do a Lion King 2019 sequel to adapt the Lion King 2 animated film. So there's a lot of things that they're trying to do that's just really kind of rushing way too fast and going into things way too quickly that make no sense. If you guys want to ask me, I think that all of this is unneeded and just a waste of time. Even to even converse about this behind the scenes is a waste of time. So anyway, basically what they were trying to do was to model this prequel movie to adapt elements of that Happily Ever After 1989 movie that focused on the Seven Dwarfs' cousins as well as the Evil Queen's brother. Now, we already discussed this, that this is the current plan as well, to feature them in a planned sequel to Snow White 2024, but this was all going to go over their backstory in this cancelled out prequel film that was axed, along with the Evil Queen spin-off film that was axed because Gal Gadot actually walked away and wanted nothing to do with Disney anymore after the ongoing struggles. Uh, more on that a little bit later this week, by the way. On top of this, though, the overall structure of this for the prequel film that was cancelled was also going to explore magical powers that the dwarf fellows had. They were said and planned to be the cousins of the seven dwarfs, much like in the Happily Ever After movie from 1989 that was animated. Disney was plan planning on adapting elements from that film by 20th Century Studios. Currently though, two Snow White movies were cancelled entirely. Both Snow White 24 and the sequel are still planned out by Disney, however, are going through a lot of trouble with conversations still happening simultaneously of cancelling those out as well. That's an ongoing thing right now. They're basing the feedback on the trailer by the September to determine whether or not they want to cancel Snow White 2024. Makes no sense to me. I think that they should just rid of it and just send it direct to video or straight to Disney Plus, whatever have you. Um, but what's interesting about this, in case you guys did not know, I know a lot of people are gonna be confused. People are gonna probably be like, what, the Seven Dwarf Fellas? Like, good fellas? Well, basically what the model is, is they're kind of like looking at Cinderella and kind of putting, you know, the Seven Dwarf aspect in there, calling them Dwarf Fellas, like Cinderella, Dwarf Fellas. It's kind of like that. Uh, it's really weird. Uh, it was something that was done back in 89, and basically they're doing it here, or trying to do it, that eventually got canceled out with that prequel film that's going to be making its way into the sequel if they even get to that point, which I highly doubt. I don't see them going ahead with the sequel after canceling out this specific prequel film and canceling out the Evil Queen spin-off film. And that just goes to show you that Bob Iger and the board have absolutely no idea what they are doing with this franchise. Or if you even want to call it a franchise, because it's not. I mean... They're trying to turn it into that, and they're trying to do the same with The Lion King. They want to just keep making movies, spin-off after spin-off, and sequel after sequel. It's just getting crazy, but anyway, guys, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.